SiteGround is a really popular choice for web hosting. This is lesson five of how to build a business website in a weekend, and we are going to go through signing up for SiteGround and installing WordPress step by step. Now, if you've already signed up for hosting through WPX, then you can just skip this lesson and move on to the next one. All right, let's dive in to SiteGround. Okay, so here we are on the SiteGround website. We want to sign up for managed WordPress hosting. So I'll click get started. And we're gonna sign up for the startup plan. So let's click get plan. So for SiteGround, we're gonna assume that you have registered your domain on a different registrar. And that is because the prices for SiteGround are, are actually quite high. Domain registration is what, almost $16 per year. And I believe the uh, privacy protection is about $12. So that brings your total to $28. That's quite pricey when you compare it to Google Domains, which is $12, and Name Silo, which is $9. So I'm going to assume that most of you won't want to spend the extra money to register with SiteGround and that you'll want to use your own domain registrar. So I'll click I already have a domain, and I'll put in the domain name that I've already registered, and then click Proceed. When you get to this page, simply put in your information. Down at the bottom of the page, just make sure that the right plan is selected. Under data center, you'll want to make sure that the data center closest to where you live is selected. I live in the United States, so USA, Iowa is perfect. Double check that the billing period you want is selected. Since this is just a demo, I'm just gonna sign up for one month. We're going to skip a site scanner for now. And then at the bottom of the page, you will need to agree to the SiteGround Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. And then click Pay Now. After your payment processes, you'll get this thank you message and you'll also receive a welcome email. So let's head to my email. Okay, so here is the welcome email. If I scroll down here, you'll see that there is some login information and they actually have a button here that's really convenient. So you can go ahead and just click that button to start setting up your website. So I'll just click add website. So now I'll just log in with the username and password that I just set up. And now we are logged into SiteGround and we can start setting up our site. So there is a big orange button here to just start setting up our site right away, but I do want to scroll down here so you can see all of the options for getting started quickly. So I'll just click set up site. So we want to start a new website, so I'll click that option. We want a WordPress website, so I'll select WordPress. And now let's set up our WordPress login information. So you'll need to enter in your email address and a password. And then click continue. SiteGround is going to ask you if you want to sign up for SG Site Scanner. I don't believe it's really necessary at this point, so I'm just going to skip that and I'll click finish. When that is finished processing, you'll get a notice saying you are all set. And the next thing you'll have to do is point your domain to your new host server. So you'll need to do that with your domain registrar. And they've provided you the information that you need right down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this top one right here. So I'll just copy that. And then I'm gonna head over to Name Silo, which is my domain registrar. So you'll need to look at the settings for your specific domain on your domain registrar. And I'm gonna to go to Name Servers. Now, your page may look vastly different depending on the domain registrar that you've chosen but you're going to look for numbers and letters that look something like this. So I'm gonna click change. And under name server one, I'll simply delete this and I'll paste in the information I previously copied. And I'll do the same for name server two. And for name server three, I can simply just delete that. And there we go. It may take some time for your name server information to update, and they'll tell you it may take up to 24 hours, but typically I found that it takes anywhere from about five minutes to an hour. Now, how do you know that everything is working? 
You'll know because you'll be able to log in to your WordPress website. If your name server information hasn't propagated yet, then when you try to log in, and this is logging into your WordPress website, you'll get some kind of error. And I know it might be slightly alarming, but just give it some time. And if you have trouble logging in after 24 hours, then contact your web host. After installing WordPress, SiteGround will send you your login information via email. The standard login page for any WordPress website is always going to be your domain name slash wp-login.php. So if for some reason this admin URL doesn't work or you just don't really want to use the auto login feature, you can use um, the general login page. Next, let's set up an SSL certificate so that your website will use HTTPS instead of HTTP. So that S at the end means that your website will use a secure connection. This is required when you're transmitting information such as credit card information over the internet. In the past, it was mainly e-commerce sites that had to worry about HTTPS, but these days Google is pushing everyone to use HTTPS, not just e-commerce sites. And if you don't use HTTPS, what can happen with some web browsers is that your website visitors will see a warning that your website is not secure. So it's definitely not ideal, so let's set up HTTPS. The first thing you'll have to do is install an SSL certificate. SiteGround offers free SSL certificates, as does WPX. So let's start with that. So in SiteGround, you'll go to the Websites tab, then look for the site that you want to secure and click the Manage button for that website. Then under Extras, we want to add SSL to the site. So under SSL, we're going to click the Add button. So now you'll see that you have three different SSL options, and you can read through the different options over here in this column on the left. We want the Let's Encrypt SSL for the price of free. We can see that this is already selected. And down at the bottom, just make sure that you have the right domain listed. You can see that the price says free, and we'll just click Activate. Then under Install New SSL, make sure you have the correct domain selected. Under Select SSL, you'll need to click on the drop-down menu. Let's select Let's Encrypt, and then click Get. When it's finished processing, you'll see your domain listed here under Manage SSL. You'll see that the status is active, and you'll also have an expiration date. And so now what's left to do is to configure HTTPS. Um, for written directions on how to do that, simply click the Configure HTTPS button. And that will take you to SiteGround's written instructions on how to do that. Or you can just continue on with this tutorial and I'll show you exactly what to do. So you'll just need to log in to your WordPress website. And then you'll go to SG Optimizer. This is the SiteGround plugin that will optimize your website. Then you'll go to Environment Optimization. And you just want to make sure that Enable HTTPS is enabled. So this is currently enabled. And that is it. HTTPS should be all set up. Now, if you are having any problems with insecure content, you can use this option that says fix insecure content, but I wouldn't advise turning that on unless you're getting those errors. So now you can log out of your website. And the next time you log in at the top of the page in the URL bar, you should see HTTPS. So now your web hosting is all set up. WordPress is ready to go. And now you are ready to begin building. Let's move on to the next lesson.